Okay, so since I'm on a roll, I figured I'll go ahead and do this. So, this is story time. I've seen so many of these videos on the YouTube, and I was like, I don't have no story to tell anybody, but guess what? Your girl has a story to tell somebody. So, if you want to hear my story about the time I got hit by an ambulance, then keep on watching. So, you guys, it was a beautiful day. And I was sitting at home, bored, out of my mind, don't know what I'm going to do. The children are in their room playing with their technologies and not even studying their mama. I don't even want to be around their mama. Like, what? Because they got iPads, PS3s, and blah, 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 blah. So they're in their room doing what they do. So I'm sitting here like, what am I going to do? On my phone. So all of a sudden, they run to the front. Ma, can I go to my papa house? Wait a minute, let's see if papa is at home first. Pick, daddy, my children wants to come to your house so bad. I don't know why they want to come over there, but they want to come to your house. Oh, okay, that's cool then, baby. Bring them on. Really? Okay, well, I guess I need to put them on some clothes. All right then, baby, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, my dad says, baby, like he from New Orleans. My dad is from right here where I am, not from New Orleans, but he loves to say baby. <laughs> anyway, so I get to get dressed, drop them off, and I'm like, hmm, what am I going to do? So I decide that I'm going to call somebody. Bling! So what's up with you? What you got going on today? All right, well, I'm coming to visit you. Sure am. Yeah, I'm with here by five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, five. I'll let you know. I'll text you when I'm leaving here and let you know I'm on my way. Yeah, okay. So after I've made my arrangements to do what I'm going to do, the kids going to do what they're going to do, I didn't leave my house when I said I was going to leave my house. You should always do what you say you're going to do the first time you say you're going to do it. Don't second guess yourself. When you start second guessing yourself, things start happening. And in this case, lots of things start happening. So I don't leave my house at 5. It's about 5.15 when I leave. And I said, well, let me feed the kids before I leave so I won't have to rush back to feed them. So I'm on my way to dad's house and I realized, well, what am I going out here first for? Let me go get the food. So I go and I order a pizza. I sit down and I wait for this pizza while I'm sitting waiting on this pizza. They mess my pizza up. So I have to order the pizza all over again, blah, 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 blah. But that's all right. That is okay. So by the time I order the pizza, get the pizza, get the pizza to my daddy's house, I get on the road. At this time, it's about 5, 45, almost 6 o'clock. I was supposed to leave my house at 5. It should only took me 10 minutes to get to where I was getting to, right? Right. So, I'm driving down the road, and I decide, well, hell, I really don't know how to get here. Let me use my GPS. Siri, can you find... One, two, three, four, boom, 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 boom. Siri doesn't work. No service. It's just a bing, bing. Siri is not talking to me at all. Like, what a man to see you're supposed to be for me, here for me, whenever I need you, and right now, you ain't even working. What's really up with that? Okay, so, I wait a while. Keep on driving because I know what exit I'm going to get off on. I just don't know how far down this road I really have to go to get to where I'm getting to. So, go back to the Siri. Oh, she's working now and they're talking to me. In 1.4 miles, take a left off of exit blah, blah, blah. Okay, I take this exit. It stops again. I drive down the road somewhere. Come, Your destination is on the left. Really, Siri? Really? You gonna come at me right when my destination's on the left? And you ain't told me miles back your destination is coming up at 700 feet. No, your destination is here on the left. You have arrived. Nigga, it's dark outside. I can't see. I cannot see. These numbers on these mailboxes. Help me out. So I call the person I'm going to see. Hey, put them. Which one of these are your house? I can't see. So at this point, I'm on the side of the road. Okay, 
we get to the, the, the meat of this party right now. The meat of this party. I'm on the side of the road. I make a call. I make this call. I start looking around. I see him. I said, oh, okay, I found you. So, I put the phone. Do I, put, I don't remember if I put the phone down. I know I turned my signal on because I turn my signal on for every damn thing. I turn my signal on in the only turn and I turn only um lane. So I know I turn my signal on. I look, there was not a car. Well, there was a car way, way, way back. Okay, I pull out. And I see a road where I can turn. I know I turn my signal on. I start turning. Next thing I know. Oh, shit. You're about to get hit by the ambulance. <gasps> Are you serious? Bam. And all the obscenities released from my mouth. God damn it. Shit. God damn it. Bam. Sorry for the curse words. But that is what I did. That's what I said. That's how I reacted. I didn't know what to do. I was like, fuck. Fuck. All I kept saying was, I'm glad I was not in a full turn. If I was in a full turn, the ambulance would hit me in my door and I probably would be hurt at this particular point. The ambulance was going so fast. Let me tell you how fast the ambulance was going. Ambulance was going. No lights, no sirens. Regular driving. He said it. Well, it will get there. Regular driving. Apparently, the, the, uh, the speed limit on that particular road was 40 miles per hour. The dang on ambulance was going at least 60. Hit me going so fast that he could not stop immediately. He stopped about a half a mile down the road, then turned around and come back. At this point, I'm already on the other side of the road, panicking, like mind blown. I don't know what to do. What's really going on? What is going on? My mom, my first thing was, my mom is going to kill me. My mom going to kill me. My mom going to kill me. This ain't my car. Oh my God, my mom going to kill me. I'm scared to get out of the car at this point because I'm like, I really don't want to see what happened. I really don't want to know that there's something wrong with the car. Okay, I got the car. I look at the car. Damn it. This is fucked up. This is fucked up. So, the right side of the car um, from the headlight to the fender of the tire is just, <clears throat> and it's a, it's a Ford Mustang. So y'all know that car is, uh, I don't even know, but you can kick it and dent it, but it, it's shredded. It's shredded. Like he hit me so hard. It is shredded. Hit me so hard that my axle on the car is messed up. You can't turn the car a certain way or, and then the wheel doesn't. The steering wheel doesn't line up with the wheels at this point anymore. The axle on the front end is just off. Like, it's just, I don't know what to do. So, we're sitting here. The ambulance has, oh, he's oh, he's startled because he knows that he is in the wrong. So, he calls something. He calls the police. And police, the, 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 the city police doesn't get there until an hour later. Then he gets there and says, well, we got to wait for the state trooper. Are you serious? Gotta wait for the state trooper. All at this time, my phone is dying. There's no charging. The car thing in the car doesn't work, so I can't charge my phone. Oh my god! Person I came to see is sitting in. It's just, it was just mind blowing. So many things is going on at one time. And I was like, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. So another hour and a half later, mind you, I was supposed to be in there at 5:15. If I would have left my house at five o'clock, I would have been there at 5:15. So. Get there, it's about six. City cops show up about seven. State troop don't show up till about eight. When the state trooper, but but the amb another ambulance shows up before the state trooper. Make sure I'm okay. Are your vitals all right? Do you want to get checked out? Do you want to go to the emergency room? Blah 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 blah. I'm like, look, I just want to go home. I need a drink. I need a serious drink at this point. I just want to go home. It's cold. It's crap out here. And y'all take it too long. I'm panicking because I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if this car has insurance on it because it's not my car. This is the car I'm driving because my car is messed up. This car technically belongs to my mother and my brother. Well, no, my mother and my pops. The car is in my pops' name. Like, oh my god, I'm about to die because they're gonna kill me. So they're asking me all these questions and blah 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 blah. So the state trooper arrives and. 
it's quick and to the point. And I'm like, I've been sitting here for two and a half hours. And that's all you got to say is, okay, ma'am, you can pick up your police report, take it to your insurance, uh, take it to the um, auto body shop, get the car fixed. All of this time. And that's all you got to say. Like, do, do you need a record for your car? Do you need help going home? Would you like to go to the emergency room? What? Can you offer me a drink? Can you offer me some Jack? That's what I need. So, after I'm hit by the police, I'm just like, okay, I don't know what to do. At this point, I have no headlight. Should I go to the emergency room to get checked out? Yes. Just in case I need to claim some money. So I do that. And then I can't go home. Might as well stay where I am. What, 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 what's the purpose of going home at this point? I've drove down here. I've, getting, I've gotten hit. And I wouldn't go home and say, dang, I drove all the way down. I got hit and still didn't do what I was supposed to do. Might as well stay. Can't drive the car in the dark anyway. Can't see. So I finally have my drink. I relax. And that was the night that I got hit by an ambulance. Yes, players, I got hit. But I'm okay. I'm here to tell you this story. And it was just amazing as to everything that happened. And hopefully nothing else happens to me. And then I won't have any more story time. So this is my story. The time I got hit by ambulance. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.